In my last video I covered my full settings for printing FDM miniatures in Orca Slicer with a 0.2mm nozzle, and today we're putting them to the test. Hey everyone, I'm Jacob from Painted for Combat, and today we're FDM printing a 40k combat patrol. Usually on this channel my videos focus on single miniatures, or very small batches of models, but today we're going to be printing off a full set of proxies for the new 10th edition Space Marine Combat Patrol. Over the course of showing off my detail oriented FDM miniatures a few of you have left comments about the inflated print times of my FDM miniatures. And I'm not here to blow smoke, it does take a long time to print highly detailed FDM miniatures. So today by printing a combat patrol we're going to be taking a look at the print times of 12 miniatures, which should give us a good gauge of how long it might take to print a full army for something like 40k. And with some luck this experiment will also highlight the pain points of this process, and maybe help you decide if a project like this is right for you. The box of models we're aiming to mimic has a captain, a librarian, 5 intercessors and 5 terminators, and I'm not too worried about the little terrain piece that the terminators come with. Before I'd even fully decided on what this video was going to be, I printed out this hero's striker from the Puppets War Miniatures line, and I reckon he'll be a great proxy for our captain. Sure, he doesn't quite match the look of a captain in Terminator armour, but I think he's too cool not to include. Before we continue I can't go much further without giving a huge thank you to Puppets War, they kindly gave me access to a bunch of their files to try out for this video. Every miniature you'll be seeing here today is part of their strikers range, which make for fantastic wargame proxies but they do also have orcs and bugs that are equally excellent. Actually let me know down below if maybe you'd like to see me print some of these other factions in the future. Now let me take you through the same process that I used to print the Strikers hero with the next model in our lineup, a proxy for the Librarian and Terminator armour. Now I couldn't find a direct match in the Puppets War line, so I grabbed a few pieces from a few of their different models. I started with the body and arms from their Heavy Guardians kit, I also took the Reaching Open Hand from here as well. But I wanted an iron halo, a partially exposed face, and a small power axe to fit the librarian aesthetic. The head and iron halo were easy, these were both pulled from the same hero pack that our captain was printed from, but it took me a much longer time to hunt down the power axe that fit the heavy guardian body. The page clearly showed that the piece existed, but I could only find the regular version with the smaller scale hand, or the wrong pose of the heavy version, for most of my search. Eventually I located the piece in the angel striker and bits pack. Heavy striker hand with power axe, acquired, and after sifting through the shoulder pad options for the heavy guardians I couldn't find a decorative one that fit the librarian look, so I just went for their classic heavy pauldrons. It took a little bit of jumping around to get all the bits that I wanted, but he's ready, so let's get to slicing this model for printing. I made sure to orient and support this model in a way that made for the least amount of visible layer lines and scarring once the print was done, while also trying to minimise how many supports would need to be generated. If you want to see a full breakdown of what I'm looking out for during this stage of slicing, you can check out this video here. It's a full guide that will take you over my orientation and support settings and give you my guidelines on how to get great looking successful prints. In that video I cover optimizing the rotation of models for cleaner printing and break down how and when I use automatic versus manual support settings. As for print times on our first two models, the Hero Striker had an estimated print time of a little over 11 hours, but the actual print time came in at 10 hours and 3 minutes. And that is a long print time, but please keep in mind that this also included his sculpted base, which was about 30% of that time. For the rest of the miniatures in this video I will just use simple bases, which took a total of an hour and a half to print with a 0.4mm nozzle, so just keep that in mind as we move forward. Our librarian proxy, the Guardian, had an estimated print time of well over 8 hours, but his actual print time came in at barely over 7. And these guys look great! The hero's cape is smooth and clean, the details on his decorative shoulder pad are crisp and recognisable, the face of our Guardian is clearly defined, and even his very small fingers printed great. Now that the hero models are out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to our infantry. And I think first we'll start with our proxies for the intercessors for which we'll be using the Prime Gunners model pack. My only issue with these minis are the torsos, the arms are built in so there isn't much room for posability, but I did see in recent weeks that Puppets War are looking at creating ball joint versions for some of their models, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. For our Prime Gunners I've gone for the simple assault rifle loadout. Specifically I liked the V1 included here where the barrel sticks out a little more than the other designs, and aside from printing off a knife and scope attachment for our sergeant's gun, these guys are pretty standard, using the included heads, shoulder armour and extension packs that came in their kit. 
No fancy bashing on these models. I did originally play around with the idea of scaling down some of the other helmet options from some of the other kits, namely these Breacher helmets, just to try and give a slightly more intimidating look to these gunners. Ultimately I decided against this because I still want the breaches to look unique when I get to printing those up next. Spoilers. I actually printed these on two different build plates. One with just the torsos and one with all of the accessories. Each plate took just a little over 6 hours, averaging these guys out at just under 3 hours per model, which is pretty good to be honest. Now it's time for the time sink, our Terminator proxies, for which I'm going to be using these Breacher models. It's just another 5 minis, but they're significantly bulkier, much closer to our Guardian and Hero models in scale. I base these off the Terminator loadout that has the short double barrel guns and the power fists. And rather than just giving the sergeant a simple power sword, I noticed that Puppets will have an awesome power fist with blade attachment, so I had to use that. And again, these guys used all of the stuff from their kit, the default heads, packs, and shoulder armor. For these guys, I did unfortunately end up having a few print failures. It had been about a week between printing these and everything else before them, and clearly I didn't recalibrate the printer properly after having a 0.4mm nozzle installed in that downtime. So I lost a couple of armor pads here that I had to reprint, but not a biggie, maybe an extra hour. And shit. Yep, another print failure, one of the arms on the torsos. The supports failed, but I was so far into the print that I just let the material catch itself and finished the print off. The rest of the plate and even the rest of the failed model looked great, so I jumped into Blender, isolated the failed arm, and printed it separately. I made a clean cut rather than trying to match the failed area 100%. It'll be much easier to cut the failed print at the shoulder and glue it together than try to gap fill a massive line right where the print failed. And this is likely another problem that could have been avoided with separate ball jointed arms. And these guys took a while. Each body took 4 hours, and all of the extra little bits took another 12 and a half hour print. Break that down, that's around 7 hours per miniature, and for 5 minis that's a total of 32 hours. Plus another 2 hours for the reprints of the failed parts, so 34 all up? Now realistically that is a long time for 5 minis, but it's not outrageous. If you could be fully confident that the prints wouldn't fail, you could easily sit and forget a 30 hour print, let it go overnight. But with such fine detailed models, it's hard to have that unwavering trust that one of them won't get knocked off the print bed and screw up the whole plate. Which means that realistically this is two, maybe three days worth of printing. Alright, let's tally up the print times. One and a half hours for the bases, 10 hours for the striker hero, another 7 hours for the guardian, 15 hours all up for the gunners, and 34 all up for the breaches. For anyone keeping score that is a total of 67 and a half hours. And that sounds about right. If I throw all of these models into our slicer and slice them all at once it gives me an estimate of a little over 93 hours, and I do tend to see about a 20 to 30% margin of error in time estimations for longer prints. Now that is a long time, and I can already hear people in the comments saying that they could print these in a third of the time, and I'm sure that you could, but I don't reckon they would look as nice. Besides, I wasn't in a rush to finish this project. I printed these various plates of bits over the course of a few weeks, and I really enjoyed watching the patrol slowly grow. It was a fun project. So do I recommend this as a project for other people? Well, if you're the kind of person that considers 3D printing and part of your hobby spectrum, it's great fun. However, if you're the kind of person that just sees a 3D printer as a tool in your miniatures or tabletop hobby, maybe not. This was a decent undertaking for minimal yield, so that's up to you. But as for me, I could happily print a whole army like this and grow it over the course of a couple of months. So what do you think? Would you give a project like this a go? Maybe you have already. And what do you want me to print next? Maybe a few of Puppets Wars vehicles and get this on the way to being a thousand point army list. Or maybe you want to see me print some of the other factions. Just let me know what you want to see next, because I'm having a ton of fun with these guys. 
like if you liked, subscribe to keep me popping up on your homepage, but most importantly, thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a good one.